Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is your ticker guy coming at you from wonderful Niceville, Florida. This is a call out to CNBC, Dennis Beaker Neal, Larry Kudlow and others. Hey, let's play the old clip. I've still got it. Here's an especially snippy snippet from Carl's latest. How much more of it, Dennis, are you going to tolerate? What is the value of a corporation that has a bunch of debt on its books that is not worth what they say it is when they are levered up 10, 15, 20 to 1? That corporation is worth bupkis. Zero. Wake up and smell the coffee, buddy. There's a reason people call you Beaker. Or is it Barker? Ouch! Ouch! I'm glad I wasn't there when he taped it. He would have hit me. This guy is relentless and fiendishly thorough in his never-ending quest to show us the U.S. economy will collapse. He tracks the weight of truck shipments. He clocks consumer debt versus income versus population growth over decades. He pours over reams of financial data on the banks, all of which he is sure are going to die. He is so angry, so offended. But here's the key thing. So Passionate. I gotta admire passion even when it is headed utterly in the wrong direction. Carl Denninger is Eeyore. I'm Pollyanna. I'm right. And he's wrong. And that's what makes a market. And that's why Carl Denninger is tonight's hero of capitalism. Carl, I just did this in like 75 seconds. I eagerly await your nine minute response. So now let's ask the question, folks. How did you do if you believed Larry Kudlow's V shaped recovery? And if you disregarded Eeyore, that would be me, and pile back into the market in September of 2009, as Dennis Neal has suggested was a good idea with Pax Americana. Well, let's put up a chart. Hey, where's all your profits? How come you have a loss? Why are prices below where you bought in the first week of 2009 in September? How did that happen that you lost all of the gains in two months that you'd made in seven. How exactly did that occur? It's very simple, folks. There was no real recovery. There mathematically couldn't have been a real recovery. The bad debt was never taken out of the system. The system was never cleansed. It was never put right. The fraudsters were never punished, locked up, jailed, and prevented from doing it again. Instead, we propped them up with borrowed money and replaced 12% of GDP with government debt, as I have shown repeatedly on the ticker. I said in 2007 this path would not work. I said it again in 2008. I've said it consistently all the way from the beginning of my writings in the market ticker up until today. Now you have it falling apart and collapsing around your ears. So CNBC up for a rematch? This time with charts, facts, and figures, not five-minute segments where you can cut people off if you don't like what they're saying. No, no. We do this fairly. We put it out in front of the American people and we have an open and honest debate. Bring your sharpest minds. I'll come with one hand tied behind my back just to make the debate fair. If you're not up to it, is there another mainstream media outlet somewhere in the United States that is? Does anyone care anymore about truth, honesty, a fair debate, and economic facts? You get it here from me every day on the market ticker and on the ticker form videos. But can we get some of it in the mainstream press before Americans 401ks, IRAs, SEPs, and KEOs, not people who day trade, and are able to be short-term position traders like myself. But ordinary Americans that have jobs, that go to work every day, that are school teachers, factory workers, electricians, they run our power plants, our sewers, the things that we need every day before their savings and retirement get destroyed again. That's the question to you out there today, folks, and the open question to the media. CNBC, you know how to get a hold of me. You have my phone number. For the rest, I'm easy enough to find. I'm your ticker guy, and that's my view.